Nikki. I am going to talk to you about a Nikki French book that I was uh, sent by NetGalley for review. And um, I've, I've picked up Nikki French's books in the past. Uh, the, I've read the odd one. And I've always enjoyed them because, you know, I, I like sort of the, the thriller, the, the thriller genre. This one, it, it touches on themes of motherhood and what you would do to protect a child. You've got Tess, who's um, a single mum of three-year-old Poppy. She split with her partner, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Jason, who has now got a, a new wife and a new life. Uh, she's got a partner, Aidan. She's got very good friends, Gina and Laurie, and she's got a neighbour, Bernie. So these are the people in Tessa's life. And she's got a, had a very amicable split with Jason and they share parenting of Poppy and it all works out fine. You know, it's, everything's going along swimmingly until the time that Poppy bounces home from Jason's with a bundle of drawings and one of them disturbs Tess. It's the drawing, it's in black, black scribbles and what it's depicting really, really disturbs Tess. And Poppy keeps coming out with bizarre it's phrases and language that three-year-olds should definitely not be taught. Um, be so, so, should, should definitely not know. And her behaviour changes. She starts bedwetting. She's become very clingy. At, at school, there's incidents that are totally out of character. And Tess is suddenly thrown into the panic that something happened when she was last with Jason. She saw something. She heard something. She witnessed something. She feels that her child is in danger. And that is the premise of the book. She is desperate to find out what happened, what Poppy saw, what Poppy knew. But because a three-year-old child is not a reliable witness. And her behaviour as she gets drawn into this, as she gets more and more anxious, she she goes off to the police, but nobody will believe her. Nobody believes that there is anything amiss. It's just a child's drawing. You know, what you're getting so worked up about. And it's the thing about motherhood. What do you do to protect... As a mother, what would you do to protect a child? What lengths would you go to to protect a child? And some of the things that Tess does. Would I have done them? If I'd have been in that situation, would I have gone to the length that Tess did? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't think I would. Um, I, I did find some of her actions a bit extreme. Um, but it is, it is that fear, isn't it? As a, the fear of a mother for, for a child. And that's what drives her. The, to, the drive to protect her child. Um, as regards the what happened, I sort of had an inkling who it was going to be, what, 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 who was going to be unveiled at the end. I didn't know why, but um, I had a feeling I was where it was heading, but maybe not the reasons. Really good book. Really enjoyed it. So... Nikki French, if um, you want a good story, a good thriller, something to keep you going, keep you guessing, pick that one up. So that was The Unheard by Nikki French. It comes out in September. So take care, happy reading and bye.